Welcome to Office 2010 video number 46. Hey, we're in Access. We're working on the same file that we've been working on for the last four or five videos. Our it doesn't say it, my, mine says wooden crafts finish. Yours just says wooden crafts. Actually, that's the name of the file. I'll post. I'll post the finished file when we're completely done. We actually have two more videos in Access. All right, in this video, we're gonna take some of the queries. We did 16 queries in our last video. We're going to take these queries and make a report out of them. As we know so far with our study of access, here's the table products. We have some on hand and cost. If these numbers change in this table, the heart of any database, right, the table, if anything changes there, all the related objects update. So for example, here's our inventory value any of these inventory values, which is a calculated field we saw how to do last video, these update when the source data updates. But now we want to take our answer to our queries, and instead of seeing it in a data set like this, we want to make a report. And we're going to use the report wizard. So I'm going to go to the create ribbon tab, and over here in reports, we're going to use the report wizard. All right, this is just a few steps, and we'll have a, basically a finished report. We can do a little bit of adjusting afterwards. Main thing you want to do is pick the right thing, or whether it's a table or a query. And there it is. There's all sorts of things we can make reports from. We're going to start off, we're going to do inventory value. So I'm going to select the query inventory value. Here are the fields. You can select one at a time. You could also, if you don't want it, go back. Or you could select them all. I'm going to select them all. Click Next. Uh, grouping, we don't have anything to group here, but we will see in our next video how our next um, report how to group. In essence, if you have repeating data, instead of repeating it all, you could group it together. I'm going to click next. We could sort, sure, why not? We'll say inventory value, ascending or descending. So I'll have e ascending next. The layout, columnar is in columns, so the records will be in columns, or tabular means in rows. We can select portrait or landscape for this one. We'll select portrait. Adjust fields width so all fields fit on the page, especially that's nice if you have uh, a, a bunch across the uh, landscape page. I'm going to click next. And now the last step is just saying, hey, do you want a preview report or go straight to design view? I'm going to preview my report. I'm going to click Finish. And just like that, wow. Looks like we have to do a little aligning. And actually, the reports that pop out on Macro like this, sometimes they need a little tweaking. Sometimes they come out just fine, though. Little tweaking, but wow, that is so amazing. That means we have a report that is linked to this query that's linked to the raw data. Totally changes as our data changes. So we could be printing out this at the end of each day or end of each week. All right, now, we're in print preview. You can see close print preview up here. So I'm going to close this. There are four views. This is the home ribbon under views. There's design, which we're in right now. Uh, we could do this. Um, we're actually going to use the in-between view to change some of the alignments. But let's look at this. This is the report header. That's the label at the top of the report, the name of the report. These called page header. These are the unbound fields, which means these are just the labels, inventory value, product ID, description. These are called the bound fields, the detail area. That means that inventory value right there better be spelled exactly the same way that the inventory value field that we create in the inventory value query. Same with product ID and description. These are bound fields, which means that word is what's communicating with the inventory value query and the products table. And then down here in the page footer, you can see the now function. That'll give us the today's date. There's a now function in Excel, too. In Excel, it gives us today's date and time. Over here, this is a page one of three, one, two of three, three of three. We saw this over in Excel, and actually that the syntax is kind of similar here in Access uh, to what we saw in Excel. That's Design View. We're not going to use Design View. If you wanted to add or uh, delete fields and do dramatic changes, like you could use this button up here, you could use Design View. But we're going to use this in-between view, Layout View. Now, here's a column here. I kind of 
I'll, uh, would like to align it and change the size a little bit. Now I have this selected already. I'm going to hold Control and then click on this too. That way I can point to the edge. I have, in essence, the unbound field, the label at the top, and then all of these uh, detail down here selected. And I'm going to point when I see my horizontal arrow. I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to click here, hold Control, and click there. Drag this over. And then change the size a little bit. And then Description. I'm going to do the same thing. Click there, click there, holding Control, and then click and drag. Um, how about here and here? And I'm going to go to Format. You could also use the Home ribbon, the same uh, over here. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to align it to the left. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Let's go to Print Preview. I'm going to go to the Home ribbon, Print Preview. All right, so there's my report. I'm going to Control S. Control S, I'm going to close this. I'm going to look down here. You can see now we have our fourth group. Actually, if we close this right here, we can test this. Let's go Inventory Value. Let's open this report. Double click. OK, so the railway bridge is 850. Nice looking report. Let's close this. Let's actually go to the supplier data. If you remember the supplier data, we can find and change records in the products table using this form here. We have a relationship, one to many. One supplier can have many toys. I'm going to click forward. There's the rail, railway bridge. I'm going to change this to 15. That should dramatically change the inventory value, probably uh, send it to the bottom of the list. I'm going to close this. Do I have to control S? Nope. Raw data is automatically saved. Open that inventory value, and there it is, right at the bottom. Let's close this. Go back over here. Just going to change it back to 1. Nothing like testing to see that it actually works. It's got, I mean, you know, I still am amazed. That's just awesome. What a beautiful report that is, uh, you know, connected dynamically to our table, raw data. Now let's do another report, create report wizard. I'm going to make sure and select the right query or table. I'm going to go to reorder phone list. And let's see, um, let's do first name, last name. I'm double clicking telephone, um, description, I definitely want that, and on hand. Okay, so I'm not going to use all the fields, just some of them, or you could pick whichever ones you want, but we could see that we don't, we're not, uh, we don't have to use all of the fields that were in the query. I'm going to select that and click next. Now, this is sort of like grouping. It says, how do you want to view your data? What's happening here is there's two different tables, right? And the supplier data is up here, and then the products is down here. That's perfect for us. It will list just the first name, last name, and telephone number only one time, not repeat it. And then below it will be our uh, description and the number of units on hand. Let's click Next. We don't have any more items to group. I'm going to click Next. You could grouping is like if at Highline Community College you're showing students and you want to group them by major, right? So you want all the accounting people grouped together, all of the uh, nursing students together, etc. But we don't have anything uh, more to group. I'm going to click Next. We could sort if we want on hand, descending. That's fine. Click Next. Now stepped. That means that there's groups here, and it will list. And the picture kind of tells us a thousand words. It kind of lists it only once, and then here are the records. So, for example, here, here's one item grouped together. For us, it will be the first name and telephone number, and then all the records below. Landscape or portrait. I'm going to select landscape. Adjust the field width so all fields fit on the page. Yeah, sure. Next. All right, and there is the title. We could change this. I'm going to call it Reorder uh, Reorder Phone List. This will appear at the top of the report. You can actually change it in Design View, too. 
I'm going to click finish. And there's our reorder phone list. And this is totally dynamic. Now we, it looks like we have to fix again a little bit of uh, alignment. But this is totally dynamic. Remember our query said show me all the items less than five. So you know at any particular time we can print this out and it will give us an up to date report. All right let's see. Um, I'm zooming in and out. I'm going to close print preview. There's design. Uh, I'm going to go down to uh, layout view. And let's see, let's start with telephone. I'm going to click there, hold control, click there, and drag this over a little bit. Then I'm going to click here, hold control, and click there, drag it over a little bit, and then size it this way. And then I'm immediately, looks like it's all right aligned. I'm going to go to the format, maybe something like that. Description, that's okay. Looking good. I'm going to control S because I changed the structure. Go back to home view and I'm going to look at print preview. So there is my report at any time. Totally dynamic. I'm going to close this. Close. That was closing print preview. Now I'm going to close this report. If it asks you to save, click yes. All right. Uh, so we saw in our first couple of videos how to create a database and tables. We saw relationships. We saw how to create forms. We saw how to do some queries, 16 different queries. And finally in this video, we saw how to create some reports, totally dynamic reports. In our last video, next video for Access, we'll see how to export data from Access to Excel and other applications. All right, see you next video.